guys? Welcome to another edition of Two's Picks. Um, it's the holidays, and um, today, you know what that means. We're going to do this holiday ham. I'm going to do it the toothpicks way. So, what I have here, let's show you what I got. This is um, this is not a raw ham. You can do a raw ham, but I'm not doing a raw ham. This is a pre-cooked Cook's full bone-in ham. Um, this is not like your little butts you have at the store. You got your butts that you have. Yes, butts. But not a real butt. But it's part of the, the pig butt. But you can see where the leg was cut off right there. That's uh, So you can see that it went up to the hip. Um, what this is, this is about a 21 pound ham. We have a Christmas party today, so we're going to go take this over there. We're going to get people's mouths water and feel like the holidays. So I'm going to show you some things I've done to save time and some just go over some simple seasonings I did. So what I've done already, I've made cross hashes in here with my good old trusty knife. And when I made these cross hashes, I just wanted some of my seasonings to get down in this when I cook this on the smoker in a minute. Um, I have these cloves and I brought these cloves you know from the store you can put these cloves in there and I add some little extra like stout seasoning to this right here and I put them in the uh, different parts of the ham all the way around and so um, some seasons I'm gonna use I got me a little special rub made today um, I'll show you some things I have in it uh, but the first thing I'm gonna show you to do I'm gonna show you some things I use I'm gonna inject this bad boy a lot of people don't inject them but even a pre-cooked ham or a fully cooked ham you can also um, add more flavor. A lot of people don't believe that, uh, but a lot of people do. And I believe that because I've done it plenty of times before. So, some things I've got is this Bragg's apple cider vinegar. You can use it for anything, but this is raw. This is the real stuff right here. So, I'm not going to put anything garbage in my meats. And I've got the apple cider vinegar, which is in this glass right here. Uh, I got some Texas local honey, a um, lot healthier than your other off-brand honeys. This is the real deal right here. This is Texas honey straight from out here. And I got this apple juice, really on me, um, I don't see any difference on the apple juices and stuff. You can go buy the organic if you want, which is always healthier. But uh, apple juice, simple, plain and simple, and it costs, costs cheap. So. Uh, that right there, I'll be using that also for a spray as well as my injection. And so, what I'm going to do here, let's go ahead and take my syringe, get you a nice good syringe. Um, this is something I bought at the store a while back. Put this in here, I'll mix the honey up, and let's go ahead and suck that up right there. Got all my juices in there. Gonna take that, I'm just gonna go all the way around here, start from the back, put that in, and pull out just a little bit put that in there pull out little other parts go anywhere you want to go you can hear that it's gonna make it bubble sounds and I'm gonna use this until it's gone different spots so I'm gonna be so messy hitting the bone right there come out with that Let's get over here by this, this end. Go on the side. Get around that bone. The reason some of it, I like to go to the top most of the time is because, uh, you know, it won't spill out on the sides and stuff. So I'm going to just keep going around. Don't matter where you go. Oop. Shot out the back of the, the leg over there some more spots over here you want to spread this the reason I'm pulling out like this is because I'm spreading this injection out as I go around use some more and I'll probably almost have enough to start you know up oh, getting a little squirtage remember when you when you're cooking and stuff always try to keep your area clean after you're done each part you know, so that, you know, I don't like a lot of stuff hanging around where I'm cooking. Let's get it out here on the side. And I think that's it. That's all I'm going to do. Um, that's enough. Take my sponge. I'm going to wipe this up right here. Like I said, keep your area clean. Wipe my hands off. 
And what I'm going to do now, and I have my injection in here, I got some spicy brown mustard. Well, I'm not going to put a glaze on here. I'm going to make a glaze later. I'm going to make a Dr. Pepper glaze. But I'm going to do that towards the end of the cook. Well, let's put this on here. This is going to help keep my rub on my meat. So all yes, I'm going to put a rub on it. A lot of people just keep it basic and simple. Um, this is basic and simple to me. Let's get this mustard on here. You know, you can use plain yellow mustard if you want. You can use horseradish mustard. I'm going to use horseradish. Let's use this right here. Let's rub it all the way around. Get it on there. You know, if some of your clothes come out, just put them back in. No big deal. Put that all, get that all the way around. It's a pretty big ham. So, you know, you're gonna uh, use a lot of mustard. Wipe my hands off so I can get some more mustard. Uh, another smart way to do this is probably to keep one hand free. You can tell I use this mustard all the time because I'm running out, but I have plenty to make it for this one right here. All this is doing, like I said, is you know putting a little extra flavor in here. It's gonna keep the the rub on there. Let's turn this over. I don't have clothes on the other side because I'm gonna be cooking that side up. But this one's pretty much clear. Rub that all the way around there. Get that on there. That mustard on there you know mustard like my wife said mustard goes with everything she uses it on everything so after I got um, my mustard on and what I'm gonna do no clothes fell out I don't see um, I type my little trusty rub here and some things I got in this let's move this right here um, kosher salt I like using kosher salt um, it's coarse and um, it doesn't you know it's not the real fine particle stuff it just goes into big pieces of meat well 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 and um, a little bit of cayenne pepper some coarse black pepper not the little pot if you use fine particle seasonings it'll get real clunky on you so i'll use the coarse um cayenne pepper a little bit of cayenne did i say that yes i did say that so uh ground mustard that's a little bit of kick so that's a little bit of it's um and also I use some sugar which is I don't have over I have in my canister over there I also use some sugar and I mix this all up in my little shaker you know I like to have a little shaker my wife don't like the way I shake it really uh, sometimes she do but You're <laughs> but anyway let's um, go ahead and shake this on here so get that all the way around god I can't stand that she can't stand the way I shake it but I'm gonna shake it up for her Mm -mm. Right here. Okay. That was sounding corny, I know. Yeah, you sound rejected. But let's get that all the way around. This is going to be so good, y'all. Y'all just don't know. It's going to be so good. Seems like everything I put my hands out turns good. Not being cocky, but, you know. You are. Yeah, a little bit. But, you know, you can slather this on here. It doesn't matter. It's a big old piece of meat. You know, get that on there. Get that season on. I want people to taste it. So that's that. about it. And the next thing we're going to do, let this sit a little bit and get the room temperature. And what I'll do next is I'll go get that smoker ready for you. And we'll throw this bad boy on the smoker. All right. And stay tuned. Hey, what's up, guys? See back out here. We've got this ham ready. I got me some hickory. It's already pre-smoked with hickory, but I'm gonna add some more smoke to it. I usually do applewood, but you know, with pork. Um, got my temperature up to 250. I'm trying to keep it between 250 and 275. Uh, I don't have to do real low smoke, like at 225. So uh, we're gonna cook this this smoke this um, ham to about 145 degrees, 150, and it'll probably come up. Um, in temperature after I let it sit for about an hour. So let's open this up. Let's go and put this thing on. It's going to open up my little door right here. Got me a water pan for, mo for moisture to keep it moist and I'll be hitting this thing with um, apple juice and spritzing it. So I'm going to uh, let's go ahead and put it on this rack right here. Take it. 
and I'm gonna set it right there over that. That some of my drippings will go in there also. And what I'll do now, I'm gonna put a couple wood chips in here, wood chunks, get it some smoke. And I got a temperature probe. And what I'll do, I'll go ahead and put that all the way through there, right there, just like that. And that'll help me with my temperature. Look for my turn, turn that on right there. All I do is close my door. And remember, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. Keep it in touch with my temperature gauge. Come back here and check it every so often. Hit it with a little spritz, a little apple juice. Towards the end of the cook, I'll be putting my glaze on, my Coca-Cola glaze, and I'll be putting it in back in this pan. That way all my drippings go in the pan and some pineapples on it, and then I'll cover it. Um, after it gets a little, you know, a little bit of bark on it, a little bit, I'll cover it, and instead of let it sit in that juice, and we'll take it off. Hey, what's up guys, back again. Just took this off, just for a temporary time being, and we're gonna go ahead and put a little sauce on this, and some pineapples, and uh, throw it back on there, and wrap it in foil, and it'll be, it's, it's pretty much done. Just gonna put the glaze on it, so, put some liquid down in here. So, what we're gonna do is put some pineapples, get a couple toothpicks, it don't really matter where you put these at, you know, just put them on there. Put another pineapple. You can put some of these pineapples, if you have some left over, you can put them in the bottom of the um, pan if you want. Put another one right there. Go ahead and put some over here. Keep this down, put the toothpicks down so I won't tear my foil too much. Some more right here. Get some more toothpicks. Yeah, I took off a little piece. <laughs> Another one right there. I put one down here. As you can see, I like the presentation thing. So I'm a little anal sometimes. When I'm putting stuff together. Maybe one right here. Probably ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> this is just like presentation for some of this pineapple in here. And I guess I'll go with one over here. Okay, take the extra juice, just pour it over it. All juice helps. What I do now, I got some Dr. Pepper and honey. And a little mustard powder in this pot. Just pour it over that. Get over them pineapples. See so what we'll do over time, we'll take some of this juice and we'll keep basting them with it. Get it on there real good. Then I like to take some honey and I'll just drizzle it. Bruce, that says expensive honey you're using on this hand. Yep, yeah, but it's good. Okay, but that's the $10 uh, there bottle. You go. Bruce, more. no, you're putting a little bit too much. It's a ten dollar bottle. Br Bruce. <laughs> Bruce. Okay. That's it for that right there. Got a little honey left. Really? Well I'll do now I'll throw some foil on it. guys got the ham inside here getting ready to transport it take it to the holiday party just want to show y'all what this looks like got my pineapple side put on there put some brown sugar on the top of it and some honey a little bit of dr pepper and you know it made like a little candy for these little candy things so you take these off you eat them like candy so let's you know take a little piece real quick so i'll take that right there cut right there 
see what this tastes like. Mmm. Oh, brown sugary honey. It's Mr. Wishing everybody Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Stay tuned for the next video. Toothpicks. Thank you.